And with more people getting vaccinated, many are ready to book their travel vacations. KTSM 9 News reporter Susie Castillo reports on how much it's going to cost you to take a family vacation. Airports and roads are expected to be very busy during the summer, starting with this Friday as people have already decided to hit the road for Memorial Day weekend. Prices we have noticed are going up, especially on flights. The owner of Sun Travel, a local travel agency, says demand for flights has been going up significantly. But there is still not enough flights to meet the demand that's expected. You know, the airlines ended up parking many of their uh, planes last summer and are still trying to put them back in operation and bring back their flight crews. He says many hotels that have been shut down are not fully reopened either, and car rentals have been expensive too. We've seen car rental rates in certain destinations as high as $700 a day. According to American Express, the average week-long vacation for a family of four costs about $4,500 right now. AAA predicts 37 million people will travel over Memorial Day weekend. For those planning a trip, Paul Coleman recommends you get travel insurance, do the research, and book your trip in advance. Flexibility is the key uh, because things are changing daily in terms of rules and regulations and requirements and places that are open. If you do decide to travel on the road, experts recommend that you pack an emergency roadside kit, you plan your pit stops, and of course you check for COVID-19 rules before you get to your destination. Reporting from West El Paso, Susie Castillo, KTSM, 9 News. Your Ways Traffic Chat, sponsored by Lachine